Okay. You know, one of the one of the things that, that's been interesting, you know, as we've watched Trey kind of come on, and one of the things that people have kind of pointed out is is that some of some of some of Trey's passes, you know, tend to be a little wobbly, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, kind of what causes might cause a wobbly ball. You know, what are some of the things you work with on with quarterbacks to kind of fix that? And do you think that's a big deal? Yeah. So, I mean, I think a couple pieces to it. it it's actually a similar uh, concern, if you will. Uh, the wobbly pass is, is caused by a similar thing that caused the ball to sail high, which I know we've talked before about, right? And so what we're talking about is just getting that full extension all the way away from the body, kind of right before that wrist snap, which is going to create the spiral in the ball, right? So the simplest way to think about it is the longer that extension is away from the body, the more cock the wrist gets, the more aggressive that snap is. And so that the more aggressive the wrist snap, the tighter, you know, velocity we put on the spin and, and that's what creates that spiral. So in the same, in the same, like, you know, conversation, if the wrist is kind of firing early before we get the full extension, that's what can cause the ball to sail high as well. So two of the things that we've talked about in the past, you know, particularly to Trey, um, you know, are kind of caused by that same thing. So the mindset is just, hey, make sure you're committing to finishing all the way through the throw, right? There's so many things that you're doing, you know, with getting your foot in the ground quick and, and, and starting to tighten up that arm path and get his elbow through with, with good acceleration. That's 95% of what's important. That's what allows the ball to be accurate. That's what allows the ball to get out of your hand with good velocity, keep the sequence in tune. Then the last 5% is kind of like, the prettiness of it, right? The full extension, which creates that spiral. So it's certainly something that, you know, I think you need to be aware of and I think should be focused on correcting. Um, but to your point, Jack, how important is it? You know, it's it's 5% of the throw, right? And, you know, I, I think anytime we talk about ball flight and perfect spiral, you have to think about Peyton Manning, right? And his last seven, eight years, I'm not sure how many spirals he threw. He'd be the first to tell you. 